This is how you reset the limits on a Viking slide gate. This one's an H10. We're gonna hold both limit switches down so they both start blinking. Now they're blinking. We have it open to where we want it open. So we'll hold the open limit down until it stops blinking. And then we'll close it. And when it gets all the way closed where we want it, see right here we got error limit, close limit switch. It's gonna take a while, it's a big gate. But once it gets to where we want it, we just hold the close limit down until it stops blinking. If you need to readjust something, you just push them back down until they start blinking. And you can reset that limit by itself. You don't have to do both of them. We'll be changing this gate out in a while because it's not a real cantilever gate and it gives them all kind of problems. We just change it to this new gate operator. And we still got a little ways to go. Once it gets in the catch bracket, I'll stop it and set the limit. And we're good. We're going to set the limit. We're going to hold it down until it stops blinking. And it's closed. Now it's opening. Yeah, this gate needs to be replaced pretty bad. time out and close and on the Vikings you also have a diagnostics button it tells you a lot of different stuff model H10 holding for 27 26 seconds five four three you got your motor amps when it's running you'll get what amperage your motors are running at your voltage what voltage your motors are running at the AC voltage that's charging the batteries right now that's your charge voltage on the batteries that's your battery voltage Speed is plus 45%, a long gate. Overlap is if you have two gates, you can have one start later than the other one. ODS is if it's an obstruction sensor, they got it turned all the way up because they need to replace the gate. Timer, great, you can set the timer from here and leave it right here and you know exactly how many seconds you're setting it for. That's it.